Hi Catherine, thanks for being with me today. Tell me how you first became homeless. I became homeless through a relationship, bad relationship, and then I went to Park Eight Street, I had nowhere to go, and they put me up for nights in hostels like. I seen a lot of vulnerable people in the hostels, like it was, it was hard, <laughs> you know, to see. And I ended up doing a course in, with the DePaul. Uh, it's called Peer Advocacy. And it's kind of like, yeah, look, yeah, going appointments to the hospitals, uh, anything to do with health, yeah, kind of look after, you just support them. And it seems to be working, like it's great. I, I was doing it before, I didn't even know they had that and like that, and I was doing it before then. And um, then I seen that course when I was in the hostel, it was on the table and I went for it and I got it and I, I'm doing that ever since. People often hear about other people being homeless, but it's very hard to imagine what it is like to be homeless, Catherine. Would you just tell me what it is like to be homeless? Uh, the first night I stayed out on the street. I slept outside um, the county council on the benches and I didn't really sleep. I was kind of like, it was cold. I was just didn't know what to do, to be honest. I didn't know what, like, what was going to happen and what I was going to do, anything like that. And there was this other, there was this fella walking by and he asked me, was I okay? And was I homeless? And what happened? And I told him. And he brought me around to Merchants Quay, and that's where I learned about Focus Ireland, a lot of things, like a lot of um, places that I could go for a cup of tea, for a chat. Yeah, it was great, a lot of supports, like for courses, anything I wanted to do. Just, it was great. But it shows also, Catherine, that anyone could be homeless. That first night you were homeless, how did that make you feel? I was very depressed, but, and I was down for a while, like, but when I went into the hostels I met, and Focus Ireland, um, Emergency Key, all the supports that were around when I started talking to the people, and they gave me hope, you know, so, yeah, it was great. I don't know where I'd be if I wasn't for them. And yours is such a positive story now, because yeah. during lockdown, I think through Focus Ireland, You've got your own place now, yeah. haven't you? Tell yeah. me about that. Uh, I was retired after so many years. I says, this is my life now. Going from hostel to hostel and walking, like I was doing courses and all, I was doing a lot of things. and But I was still positive because of the people that were supporting me as well. And I just retired to saying, um, that with the homeless situation, I'm not going to get a place. So, uh, I said a little prayer to Jesus, uh, it sounds mad, but uh, yeah, I did. And I asked him, help me get me place. And I think a week later, uh, I got a phone call for a viewing and I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was like, what? That prayer woke, like. Yeah. And uh, next, I says, yeah, yeah, no problem, gone. <laughs> Looked at the place. I said, yeah, that's it, taking it. And then um, we went into lockdown. I was like, oh, how am I going to get my keys now? But I knew the place was there, so I was just joyous, like, just over the moon. And then the staff in the hostel that I was staying in, they helped with a virtual signing. And then my keys were dropped off. I have them here. <laughs> um, did you? <laughs> wow. And uh, I was just uh, over the moon, delighted. That's it. <laughs> That's wonderful. And yeah. the first night you were in your new home, what did that feel like? At first, it was just, there was nothing really in it. Like, well, a few things, but uh, I didn't care. But uh, then Focus Island found out, you know, and they sorted out um, a grant for me and the whole lot. And yeah, it was brilliant. Like, it was strange as well to have my own place. And I kept having to tell myself, like, yeah, this is your place. You have your place. Yeah, it was just like a dream. It was like, I knew it was real. And especially with the prayer I said as well. And then just out of the blue, getting that phone call. And I was like, it just, 
gave me hope and you know after seven years and a lot of people are out there in them hostels like for 24 years and you know but like it is all positive only for the supports now I wouldn't have got her <laughs> and that's it. Because you are that great story of hope and yeah. through Focus Ireland you now have a place of your own. Yeah. Does it seem like a dream? Yeah still yeah. I'm looking forward to Christmas, like it's great having my son stayed with me last weekend, so yeah. And he, like, even though it's like just for me, but he goes to me, ah, you should get bunk beds. <laughs> you know, like we still joke, but he's delighted for me and he loves coming out and yeah, it's great, I love it. <laughs> so for people who are planning to do that Focus Ireland, sleep out to raise funds, Remind them and tell them how important it is. It's really important because uh, I try getting jobs, I did courses. I, like, to be honest, I did get very down and only for the supports that were in place, I don't know whether I'd be here now, you know, or a lot of people, you know. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people, like, that do give up hope in the hostels. Even people, like, that weren't in the hostels or homeless as long as I was, that needed that support, you know, and it was great that I was able to bring them because of the homeless man that helped me and brought me to all them services. Like, I don't know where to be if they went there and I don't know where half the people would be if they went there. For anyone homeless tonight, give them some words of hope that they too could yeah. get a new home like you. Don't give up, just think keep engaging with the services, you know, uh, because the services support you, they help you, and they do give you hope, and they make you feel normal, in a sense, even though you haven't got home, or you're going through addiction or whatever. It's just, it like, you need to engage with people because some of them are out on the street and they're just being ignored, and, you know, they need the hope, they need, uh, people to help them. They need, they need the services, they need them. It's crucial. <laughs> and finally, to, for people to encourage them to help organisations like Focus Ireland, to help fundraising, what would you say to people? It clearly does make a difference it to does. people's lives because it's made a big difference yeah. to your life. And my family as well, like I'm building relationships with my family, you know, so yeah, and I get time on my own with my son, so it's it's just, it's amazing, you know, it really is. You can go in, shut your door and have time with your family instead of going to a cafe. I'm not down, down in cafes, I love cafes, you know, I've been in them for seven years. i met up with people in cafes and what have you, but it's nice to just have that privacy, that little bit of privacy, you know, and now when you go out, you have somewhere to go back to, that's yours and your privacy to reflect on the day of it, you know, or what you want to do. I plan on doing a lot of things, you know, a lot of things, even doing my TV tests, even to get a bank account. It's just really hard, it was, when you are homeless, to even get a bank account. For the moment, Catherine, thank you so much.